Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana. I make lifestyle, personal development, fashion, health, and wellness vlogs. In today's video, we are filming a midterm study vlog. Now, I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. Pretty much all my memories of studying from like high school and like my earlier years in college have been just been horrible times. It's basically consisted of me sitting and grinding for eight hours a day for however many days. And I do not study like that anymore and I still get good grades. I'd argue I I even get better grades with my new method. So I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna study, it's gonna be balanced, it's gonna be fun, and we're gonna include tons of self-care so that we can get good grades and actually enjoy learning the material we're studying. Try as I might, I am still a type A girly at heart, so naturally I made a little notion page to keep me organized about what topics we are studying today. So to my misfortune, I actually have two midterms in the same week, one day after one another. The tricky thing is here, both courses are expedited, but one is worth six credits and one is worth just like your normal three credit university course. So we've got a lot to cover over this next weekend. The good news is I've already started studying and if you're new here, one of my pro tips, write this down, is that you don't study before the exam, you study all semester long. And if you can't study all semester long, then give yourself two weeks, start studying 30 minutes to an hour every day, just do a little bit, even if you have to do 15 minutes, you are studying at least two weeks before your exam. And I've already started doing that for both classes. So we're already on the right track. So my first midterm is in Introduction to Wine Science. This is a nutrition course. I'm a nutrition major at UBC. And here are the topics we need to cover in the next four days. Wine composition and sensory evaluation. I've actually already studied these two and I've gone through all the learning objectives. So we're already on the right track. Wine history, wine regulations, shipping laws and trends in consumption and sale. That's all like one major category. And then the next category is viticulture and it's broken down into three sections. Viticulture is all about growing grapevines. And so we talk about grapevines, grape anatomy, vineyard management, viticultural practices, a wine grower's year, which I love learning about. We learned about that yesterday and terroir. He also gave us a practice midterm. So I'll be doing that as well. And then I will get into how I'm studying after I go over everything I'm studying for the other exam. So for the other exam, this is my brain and behavior course. It is a part of my psychology minor. So the topics I'm gonna to be studying for this brain and behavior course are what is biopsychology? What types of research categorize biopsychological approach? What are the divisions of biopsychology? How to think critically about biopsychological claims? Basic neuroanatomy, and this is gonna include all the divisions of the nervous system, neuroanatomical directions, the spinal cord, divisions of the brain, brain structures within each division, the major fissures, those are like how the brain is like split, I think. Think, the limbic system, the basal ganglia, lobes of the cerebral cortex, and anatomical features that protect the brain. So that's a really big component. We need to know the effect of damage on certain areas in the brain. And we also have to know basic neurobiology, which I'm not worried about because I've taken a anatomy and physiology course. So a lot of this stuff is review. Neural conduction and synaptic transmission, maybe. The shitty thing about my psychology course is that the exam is next Wednesday. So it's the day after the nutrition exam and we're not done learning the content. So I have the class on Monday. So what we cover in class, it's only gonna be an hour lecture. That's gonna also be added on top of what we already are supposed to know. So I'm a little nervous about that, but I had it included here. So it's gonna be at a maximum what I just read out, but that's kind of what we're looking at for topics to study for both. That's kind of the gist of what we're looking at for topics to study for my wine science course, as well as my brain and behavior course. Studying outside is not for everyone, but me personally, when it's a beautiful day, I like to just be outside, be in nature. Sometimes I have like a cute little summer beverage. So I've got my laptop and we are just gonna dive right in. The first exam is my wine science exam. So we're gonna dive right in. I'm gonna try to study as long as I can. Gonna aim for a half an hour and I'm actually gonna set a timer for that. If you struggle with staying productive and on task, I really recommend setting a timer for 30 minutes. Give yourself like a five minute break in between and then you can continue on studying. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'll let you know when we switch over to doing sites. So my other videos, I've talked a lot about how I study, but I am gonna bring it back here because this video is all about studying and getting good grades and maintaining a balanced, happy life while you're in midterm season. Just because you're busy or have exams doesn't mean you should 
not prioritize your peace, your happiness, and your life. My method for studying is kind of like a work smarter, not harder vibe. So what I do for pretty much every course that enables me to, I make flashcards. I take the learning objectives right off the slides for every slide deck I'm given that's gonna be testable in the exam, and I generate questions using those learning objectives. Now this is a key part here, I type up the flashcards. So a lot of studies will talk about how typing is not as effective as handwriting when it comes to studying. So I make up for that in two different ways. The first way is by typing the flashcards, it's gonna be way faster in getting all that information down. And I make up for it by testing myself on the information after. So I'll get like a friend or one of my parents to read out the questions on one side of the flashcard. And then I will try to recall as much information as I can about whatever the question was. And this is a great way to practice retrieving that information. And that is a great way for studying. So that's the first way I make up for not handwriting my flashcards. The second way is I handwrite my notes on my iPad. So in the lecture, I will take notes by hand. Sometimes if I get tired because these lectures are quite long in the summer, I will type, but I try as much as I can to handwrite directly on the slide so I can make that like picture to text connection. Good news, we're almost halfway through all the wine science content. There's nine topics and I've already covered four, though I will say they are the smaller topics. So that is one thing to take into consideration, but the exam is still four days away. The door just literally slammed, like, okay. <laughs> um, I feel like that was really great progress. So now we're gonna move on to the psychology course. I'm just gonna do like basically like 15 minutes of studying because my mom and I have plans tonight. Very excited about them. We're gonna be enjoying ourselves. We're gonna have a little wine, just talk and chat. We like to do this when the weekend begins. It's a Friday, so we just kind of like to sit, chat about life and either have a glass of wine or have some Olipop. So I feel like this will be really fun. You definitely wanna be subscribed if you're not already because that footage is going to be of us trying the wine and we're going to be doing like that sensory profile tasting we're going to be talking about the notes of the wine and i'm going to be including that in my wine science video that'll be coming up when i'm done this course you definitely want to be subscribed for that all i gave you was a nicotine addiction and an empty room couple life lessons at 22 after all the shit i put you through i don't blame you i hate me too how did we go from strangers to best friends Best friends to lovers in one bed And now just a memory in my head Yeah Good morning guys, it is Saturday. So typically on a Saturday, I don't actually get up and moving before noon, but it is before noon today. So we know it's gonna be a productive Saturday. We're on our way to the store. We're just gonna quickly run in, grab some oat milk, grab some sausages, and then we're gonna go to Cobb's. We're gonna bring home some like pastries, maybe a little bit of bread. And then I'm gonna grab Starbucks because I just, on the weekend, I have a really tough time like making coffee at home, I don't know why. So I'm gonna grab a coffee from Starbucks. We're going to The Little Mermaid today. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this movie forever. So I'll shower, get ready, make a big deal about it because I've been waiting for this movie for four years. It's funny because I heard about this movie before I even had a YouTube channel and now it's like, gonna be on my YouTube channel that I went and I'll talk about it and I'll give like a little mini review because that's gonna be our self care for today. No, I've been trying to move on. I get car sick when I drive by a place on Walnut. It's learned how to love in an apartment. We are going to start studying for the day. It's about 1 p.m. This is kind of like about the time I thought I would start studying. I'm gonna study outside again until it gets too hot. I'm just gonna basically split up my studying into two sections like I did yesterday. I think I'm gonna start with brain and behavior today. I just am feeling more connected to that vibe right now. I feel like kind of reading through the textbook because it's really interesting. And then I will migrate over to doing wine science. And so this is your sign to grab your materials and study with me. Oh, yeah. I've been drinking a little, I've been thinking too much about you All the time and the love that you gave me All I gave you was a nicotine addiction and an empty room Couple life lessons at 22 After all the shit I put you through, I don't blame you I'm taking another break and I'm officially stopping studying psych for now. I feel like I made a lot of good progress and I'm really, I don't know, I'm just content with where I'm at with that. Oh, also, as you can see, I moved inside. I felt like I was really enjoying the temperature and the sun outside, but my laptop was getting really hot. So I decided to come back in and honestly, I needed a little break anyways before I started nutrition. I feel like transitioning from one subject to another just needs a little break in between. That helps me like 
clear my mind and fully focus on like the next topic. This is going to be a little bit of a longer break too because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down, study nutrition, and after that I'm done, I'm getting ready for the movie. We are going to clean my room and it is a mess, as you know. My room gets super messy. We've talked about this in other videos before. I've probably mentioned it. It's just because I have too much stuff. There's tons of things I need to go through. We're not doing that today, but I'm just going to do like a basic five minute clean because it just needs to happen. I can't work in my room if A, it's messy, but B, I don't even like sleeping in my room when it's messy. I don't know how I've managed the last couple days because I literally hate it, but I've just been so tired. I haven't like gotten around to it, but we're cleaning right now. I hate me too. I am ready to see the Little Mermaid. I'm so excited. I've got my Little Mermaid inspired outfit. So I've just got a cute little white crop top from Oakenfort, little Princess Polly skirt. I actually got this in a set. Then of course Air Forces. And then if we come a little closer, you can see my accessories because no outfit is complete without accessories. So I've got my cute little sunnies. Got my little Majuri earrings. This cute little bracelet is from Princess Polly. And then actually that ring is from Every Jewels. And I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait for this movie. You guys, the Little Mermaid movie, legitimately, okay, I am a Disney fan, but it was arguably the best movie I've ever seen. Now I'm not a movie buff, okay? I don't even really like movies. And yes, I am a Disney fan and I was very excited for this movie, but I was actually more concerned that this movie would disappoint me and it was literally so amazing. I don't wanna give any spoilers, but go see this movie right now and leave me a comment what your thoughts are on about it because it was so good. Some of my favorite elements about the movie were like all the diverse culture. I thought that was beautifully done. The sets, Halle Bailey's voice was just so amazing. I loved Prince Eric. Prince Eric has been like my favorite prince forever. So so happy he was done justice. And even the song they added, oh my God, so beautiful. Officially looking for a musician <laughs> or someone who sings. And I feel like the love story was really sold to me. Like I feel like that was done quite well. So I feel like also if you are concerned about this movie living up to the Little Mermaid standard, it covers all elements that it needs to. And it, it honestly, it really improved the animated feature. So definitely check out this movie. It is the best movie I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even that big of a fan of musicals. So definitely go see this movie. I'm going to be doing a little TikTok review on the movie and just like talking about what I loved. Again, I'm not going to really try to give spoilers, but I'm going to talk about the things I loved. But it was basically like The Little Mermaid with some Bridgerton vibes. And it was just... It was like Bridgerton meets Broadway meets The Little Mermaid. It was so freaking good. You have to see it. On that note, I'm going to end the video here. I'm just going to be studying pretty much for the rest of the day, doing a little bit of self-care. And I feel like you guys have already seen and heard my main study strategies. So I didn't want it to be too repetitive. And I wanted this video to be valuable without feeling like a run-on sentence. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a little mermaid emoji in the comments if you got this far. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see next, what you're interested interested in, if you have any more questions about how I study or UBC in general, The Little Mermaid, literally anything, let me know. I've been loving vlogging and just getting back on YouTube. It's been so healing for me and so fun. So thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe because I want to see you every week.